Hey again, this is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com, and I wanted to tell you about the difference between DOS and DDOS. So DOS is denial of service, and DOS isn't always malicious. DDOS is always malicious. Let me explain. So denial of service, simply put, is denying a service to users. This can happen simply by the server being overloaded with requests. So let's say a new video game comes out, and the server, the PlayStation Network, the Xbox Network can only handle 500,000 requests at a time. And this new game comes out and it's getting a million requests at a time. And the server just isn't capable of handling that, so it just shuts down and it denies that service to certain users. So 500,000 is on, you're okay. Everybody else, they're going to get denied. So denial of service. It just means that whatever service you're used to, you'll be denied that service. Um, another example would be when um, when healthcare, when healthcare became mandatory and to sign up on um, the healthcare website, that website kept going down because it was literally millions of people trying to access the website at a time, but it can only handle 300 or 400,000 requests at a time. All right, so denial of service. Now, distributed denial of service is a attack of many computers on one source all right so it's a an attack from computers from chicago nebraska alaska detroit uh, seattle all right so all of these computers are hacked all right all these pcs are hacked and they become part of what's called a botnet all right so these computers actually become zombies so you may not even know that your computer your pc your tablet your device is actually compromised until the attacker actually wakes it up from zombie mode to actually attack whatever he wants to attack. All right, so it may be 100 computers, maybe 1,000 computers, maybe 10,000 computers. But all of these computers come together and they distribute an attack on one central location. So that may be uh, one user, one PC, one server, one organization. But a lot of time hackers do this to just take down one it may be a health organization, it may be a political organization, but it's just one target that they're trying to overwhelm, right? So instead of that one computer sending one request, that one computer may send a thousand requests. And there's 10,000 computers sending a thousand requests at a time. And with all of that asking so much of the server or a service that it's actually attacking, that service is denied. And then it denies service to everybody else. All right. So quick review. DOS is denial of service. It can be malicious, but it's not always malicious. It just means that whatever service that you're used to is going to be denied at that time. If you're used to getting on Google Network, PlayStation Network, Xbox Network, uh, Microsoft Network, Facebook, Google, whatever, if that server is overwhelmed, you may be denied that service. So denial of service, DOS. DDOS is when an attacker actually compromises several machines, several PCs, and it has a distributed network of zombie computers, thus creating a botnet, and then they all target one central location and try to destroy it. All right, so that was a super quick class. This is Dwayne from ITMasterKey.com, and other than that, I'll see you in class.